All right, we got game number three, the Florida Atlantic Owls against the Tennessee Volunteers. Uh, Florida Atlantic in this game, they just got the victory against FDU. FDU missed way too many easy layups and f- and turned the ball over too many times to, to get the win. Florida Atlantic escaped, and now they play Tennessee. Tennessee dominated the Duke Blue Devils. They dominated with their physicality, their defense, their size, and their experience. These are all things that are going to plague FAU in this game to me. I think that the FAU team, they're, they're going to be way too small and their inexperience is going to come into play here. Tennessee, if they play physical defense like they did against Duke, they'll be successful. Tennessee brings with them the number one defense in the country and the number one three-point defense in the country. So if they chase the Owls off the three-point line, they'll have success. This is kind of a big number, but I I feel like the spread should be uh, Tennessee laying eight points instead. If Rick Barnes and his team bring that tough physical defense, they shouldn't have any problems with FAU. FAU is going to have to make 10 to 13 three-pointers, I think, to to win this game or cover the game. Uh, so if Tennessee keeps them off the three-point line, they'll be successful. I like the Volunteers here laying five, laying, laying five and a half points, five points, however it may roll uh, going into the game on Thursday. Uh, we have other handicaps for all the Thursday games and the Sweet 16 games to come, as well as the Elite Eight games uh, on YouTube. So go ahead and check that out for us. Thanks, guys.